How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with a very quick video on Goichi vs Sonic Fox, the first of Vive special exhibition match. We're going to cover some moments from this fight, as I think it's going to be interesting seeing what happens here, compared to what happens during Top 8 at EVO. So because I'm making this video today on the same day as Top 8, it means I have to work pretty quickly, so forgive me if it doesn't feel the same as my usual analysis videos. Really quickly, I should address the elephant in the room, a lot of people that are really big fans of Sonic Fox have made the claim that he might have been sandbagging in this first of five. I really hope that's not the case and I also don't think Sonic Fox would do that. Overall on Twitter, he did address the loss as a loss. So this could be next level strats. He's hoping Goichi translates this or something. But overall, I I'm not really too sure he, he was sandbagging. Okay, so game one starts with an amazingly ballsy play by Sonic Fox here. Because you're going to see after just a couple seconds of neutral, he instantly goes in, uses Android 16 assist, and then just dashes up on him, ask, begging Goichi to click a button here. Goichi, of course, playing very defensively, respects Sonic Fox's play a lot. He's just going to hold down back, which eventually gets him in the corner where he is opened up for a combo here. Later on in the corner, we see Goichi miss a reflect due to Sonic Fox's uh, gap in his pressure here, and it's going to cost him a lot of life on his cell. This combo is really dragging out. Sonic Fox, of course, going for a super dash there. Not sure if he wanted a super to come out or not. He is going to get a chance to spark up, which means he is going to get a lot of that health back, and Cell is going to go ahead and sit back on the bench now with Goichi's Bardock coming out. It isn't too long after that that we see Cell land a hit on Bardock, and he's going to get the first take out of the game, but Goichi actually does spend a little more meter than he wanted to here. This could be on purpose, as Bardock is a really great point character. Uh, Goichi is very comfortable having him in this position. It could also just come down to the fact that he might not have wanted Super Saiyan Vegeta out there. As we all know, Goichi is super famous for his last standing Super Saiyan Vegeta, getting that comeback in the end, which is going to happen numerous times throughout this set. After using Sparking to get his 16 out of the corner, Sonic Fox is in a very good position to win this game with only a very, very weak Vegeta left to go. But again, like I said before, Goichi very famous for this. This is not a situation he's too afraid of. If he can get this 16 out of there and get Zamasu back in, he stands a very good chance of winning this game. What we're going to see here is Sonic Fox just trying to do too much at a time when Goichi was just doing so little. Uh, really, Sonic Fox should have just let Goichi kind of end himself, but instead we see Sonic Fox drop two different combo opportunities that would have probably sealed the game for him. And instead, he just gets antsy, tries to do other things, Goichi lands a clean hit, and that's going to be the end of his Android 16 for him. Now, this does leave Goichi with no meter to spend here, so he has to be super careful. He does unfortunately get hit by a great cross-up by Sonic Fox, who decides to go for a weird gimmick against Goichi. Luckily, uh, Goichi is very good at defense. He was obviously prepared for that. Didn't work out too well. It's not the end for Sonic Fox, as he does have a lot more health to spend, but you're going to see Goichi put very staggered pressure on him here, and then he's just going to continue jumping back, throwing out medium kicks, and Sonic Fox, again, runs into it. Goichi is clearly very comfortable with playing a keep away game and letting Sonic Fox come to him. I know I'm making this point a lot, but it's something you're going to see throughout this set a lot, and it's going to be important for Sonic Fox to adjust to this if he wants to win EVO over Goichi. I'm not going to talk about every game beat by beat like I did the first one. We're only going to talk about some unique things that I see in the game. For example, let's talk about something Sonic Fox does a lot on Zamasu, and that is calling out the lightning only to go for a dragon rush. Now, if you've played tag team fighting games before for a very long time, you probably know about this already, but for those of you that are new, what he's doing here is making the opponent want to block. It's a very hard mental thing to overcome and it takes a lot of experience in the clutch. It's pretty much the exact same thing as calling out any sort of assist in the game and then immediately dragon rushing. Your opponent sees the assist, knows they have to block it, and while they're focused on that, they miss out on an opportunity to detect the dragon rush. It's a super small thing, but it's something that Sonic Fox loves to do with Zamasu, and I'm pretty sure it's a safe guess to see you're going to see a lot of that during Top 8 at EVO today. The next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about, even though it's pretty well known and not unique to Sonic Fox and Goichi, is the Bardock Mixer. If you're unaware what this is, it's a very popular strategy for Bardock players. When they get a level 3 on an opponent in the corner, they can do their uppercut into the air, where they, which gives those players all sorts of options to mix up the opponent with. You can wait a little while and do an over overhead, you can land and do a low, or you can just land and Dragon Rush, which is a very popular option as the other two both require you to block or reflect, and Dragon Rush addresses both of those really well. The reason I bring it up is because Sonic Fox is put in this exact situation in Game 2 of their exhibition, and he opts to just use his Sparking defensively to pretty much check all of those options at once. Using Sparking to address these situations is extremely popular, and you are definitely going to be seeing a lot of it during Top 8. 
Now on to the final game of the set where we come in very late and again there's another situation where Goichi is left with just his Super Saiyan Vegeta against a very healthy Android 16 and a completely healthy Zamasu. We are going to see a different take on Goichi's usual game plan and as he does rush in to get the first hit against Sonic Fox instead of playing very defensively. After he gets the hard knockdown in the corner with his final flash it's completely free reign for him to go in and put the pressure on his opponent. Sonic Fox may be giving Goichi a little too much respect in the corner here, as he just sits there blocking for a majority of the time, desperately trying not to get hit. He does eventually change out into Zamasu though, which doesn't last long as he gets swapped back in. He also whiffs a pretty big level 3 and Goichi takes huge advantage of it and gets a lot of damage. And after just a short while, we're right back into the corner. After an amazing knee by Goichi and one more hit, Android 16 is out of the game, leaving Sonic Fox down to Zamasu. Sonic Fox again tries to perform this same mix-up from the first game, but for the second time Goichi is able to get out of it. And that's not the only callback we're getting from the first game either. As you can see, this game ends the very same way that the first one did, with Goichi playing very, very defensively. Sonic Fox is going to get a little bit impatient and try to rush in here, and Goichi backdashes, holds it for a little while, and then does an air medium kick and converts into a full combo, ending the game and the set. Overall, a very good performance from both of these guys. As usual, they are the best of the best for a reason. And there are a lot of things for both of them to adapt to that will improve their performance in top 8 of EVO. Sonic Fox, for example, could definitely benefit from playing a little more patiently in those clutch moments. Goichi is clearly much more comfortable waiting for him to come in than going to him. Sonic Fox also dropped a lot of combos during this set that would have sealed some games for him, which isn't too normal for him. Usually he's very good about finishing those games out. We don't know what could have caused this, so it's best not to even speculate, but definitely converting more of those combos into big damage is something that he's going to need to do if he wants to win. Goichi, on the other hand, did have a very dominant performance, so it's hard to say what he could do better, but it definitely looked like he was giving Sonic Fox a lot, a lot of respect. Overall, it did end up winning him the game, but I could see abandoning that and going for a more aggressive style of play, really catching his opponents off guard during top eight, so that might be something you want to look out for as well. Overall, it was a very fun exhibition to watch and it gave us a good taste of what we were going to see tomorrow, if we even get to see these two players go at it. There are a lot of other killers in that top eight bracket, so you never really know for sure what's going to happen. I think a match between these two would be pretty hype though. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on this exhibition were and what your thoughts on EVO overall is. Also be sure to let me know who you think is going to win it all today down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video.